This is HMS Tamar, yeah. The newest greenish ship in the Navy. So we've got uh, the personal support weapons, SA-80A2, the Glock, uh, as well as unit support weapons, like the general purpose machine gun and the minigun, which is just back off on the bridge wings. Yeah, a couple of years down the line, we're looking at replacing the general purpose machine guns, 50 cal. As well, I've got the uh, 30 millimeter cannon right at the front, which takes the shells just there. Welcome to the bridge. Uh, this is the nerve center of the uh, ship. Uh, so everything on board is uh, controlled and managed pretty much from up here. I've got a background in uh, offshore patrol vessels. Uh, the bridge equipment is quite similar, but essentially everything is a bit better than it was before. All of the screens are larger. We've got more screens up here that can be more customized. Uh, the radar, the navigational radars are more powerful. Uh, we've got another uh, GPS, an encrypted GPS, which they didn't have on the older uh, offshore patrol ships and everything is just that little bit better. Being such a modern ship, we've just sort of got the best of the, the best of the kit available. This is HMS Tamar's sick bay. So it's the main facility where we treat casualties along the ship. We can treat them anywhere else on the ship as well, but this is where they get brought to. This is a perfect example of a sick bay at sea. Um, and the batch two OPVs like Tamar, Trent, um, Forth and Medway, um, I think the sick bay is exemplary. You know, we've got a beautiful consultation area just around the corner where we can um, speak to people confidentially without you know ship's company interrupting, which is important because although we're a team, you know, sometimes you just need that one-on-one -on -one patient care. We've got an examination area here which we can get anyone fully exposed and make sure that we know what we're dealing with and deal with that in, in real time. And we've got a two-bed isolation ward there where if someone needs a little bit more prolonged care um, or for any reason, you know, we've got kind of an outbreak of diarrhoea and vomiting or something, we can isolate them from the ship's company and protect them further on.